Welcome everyone. Hey, my name is Eugene and this is my little bitty cooking show for you to eat. And uh, I am all about whole foods, plant-based cooking. Oh, and uh, doctor's orders, no oils. I bet I got something good for you. And if you want to adopt a healthier way of eating, come on in, check it out. All right, hey dog, y'all want something good at the end of the day? You got you a meal. You know what we're talking about? No, man, we ain't gonna smoke this. This is almost good enough. You know what, I might wanna smoke this and just see if we can, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. This is dessert. Check this out. Whole foods, plant-based, no oils, dessert. This is my ooey gooey, icky sticky, date, fig, cranberry, sunflower seed, pumpkin seed, cacao nib log that's got some of my bourbon vanilla extract in it. We've got some maple syrup in it. This is going to hit your sweetness bone. Remember, this is a treat. Don't go pigging out on this here. Cut you a little slice, maybe twice a day, no more. Pop it back in the refrigerator. You'll always have that little treat. Come on, let me show you how you make it, okay? Okay, now boys and girls, let's go ahead and get started here. I've got about a dozen dates and I got two, four, five nice sized figs. Let's go on ahead and get the little stems out of the figs. Figure chop the figs. Chop the figs into little bitty bits. You don't want these pieces in too big of bits when you throw them into your uh, food processor. These are pretty wimpy sized dates. So we'll just cut them only in half. So go figure your, uh, your figs and your dates are going to be about a third or so of your, uh, your volume in total. And then what else, whatever else you want to add in is going to be your choice. Whatever you got on hand. This is my candy that I make. And I've been uh, munching on this here every couple of days. And uh, hey, I've been losing weight and I'm doing fine here. So let's pop these into our food processor. We're going to put some pepitas, some pumpkin seeds in there. I just eyeball everything. That's about maybe a third, third of a cup, a little bit more of pumpkin seeds. We've got the cacao nibs. This is going to give it a chocolate taste. See, I want to load up on that. I'll put a little bit more than a half cup in there. Got some sunflower seeds. What the heck? Let's dump them all in there. A little bit less than a half a cup. And I've got some dried cranberries. These here have reduced sugar. I'm just getting rid of this. I'm not going to buy any more cranberries with sugar. This is just a, a little bit of a leftover from the old days. Got some of my special uh, vanilla extract. Look in my, uh, my video list. I'll show you how to make it. It's real simple. You put you about a dozen vanilla beans and some bourbon or some, uh, some good spiced rum. Putting about three tablespoons of vanilla extract in there. We're going to want to put some maple syrup in it, make it nice and sticky icky. I'm going to say about three tablespoons is what we got. So I've got my wax paper here. Now your job is, is to make you a log, huh? So we're going to slowly work this bad boy. It's like rolling a great big Cheech and Chong doobie, okay? And for those of you who don't know what a doobie is, you should know what a doobie is, okay? That's all I got to say. Now 
You're going to twist the ends up there. This is for those of you who don't know how to twist up a doobie. You want to squeeze out all the air. Get it nice and tight. And we're going to finish with some sesame seeds. Roll this bad boy up, pop it in the refrigerator, let it sit overnight. Tomorrow, I'm going to have me a real good treat. And there you go. It's good. I want to thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Click subscribe down below. Hey, if you don't know where to get the dates and all this other stuff here, good prices, good selection, check the links down below. Check on the website. Got the complete recipe. Thanks for watching. Bye now. Y'all come back now, yeah?